In today's video we will look at the North Korea's elite, where they live and where they go shopping. And here we see a picture of a grill bar or a pizza bar. They have that in Pyongyang. They also have a beer bar, a coffee shop. Not the kind of coffee shop you have in the Netherlands, but still it's a coffee shop. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's about time to do that. And if you have subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. The first thing we're going to have a look at is uh, this uh, skyscraper. Here is a skyscraper. And this one is 270 meters high. And this is the Yuchi Idea Tower. And here we have the skyscraper. This one was built in 74 days. And here we can see Kim explaining the soldiers how to build it and here is a, a model of how it all should look when it's finished building a skyscraper in 74 days is an absolute ridiculously bad idea they've done that before in um, north korea and the result was that it collapsed and here we see people crying because a lot of their family died in that skyscraper it fell down in 2014 I marked a few um, of the villas and the rich areas. So let's go and have a look at them. We will not look at all, but we'll just look at a few. So we can see this is a gated compound. And if you live here, then you're pretty well off. Have a nice house, green around it. This is a very big uh, villa. And we zoom a little bit out. There's another compound next to it with relatively nice houses. Now we're going to have a look at um, one of the newer projects. So this is the street we're going to have a look at. As you can see there is not much here and this is 2016 and then we move a little bit forward and we can see they start building here and they also start building here here is the highest building in Pyongyang I, I don't count this hotel they started to build in 89 as finished so therefore this must be the highest building um, the hotel is like I said it's not finished so it doesn't count here is a parking area here's a cinema um, the building has been built in 74 days that is roughly one floor per day and that is absolutely ridiculously dangerous I will show a little bit more about this area. So this is um, the skyscraper. And this was made just after it opened, um, 13 of April 2017 one year after they started it and it is of course all very beautiful and modern uh, this part of the video is produced by the government of North Korea so they always made it look very very nice and beautiful as I promised, here is uh, a department store. I will show you what you can see inside a department store. There's no people. Here we see two ladies looking at what potentially is a hairbrush or a toothbrush. I have no idea what it is. But clearly they also have never seen it before. They look very surprised. And then we are inside the department store. There are a few interesting things here. We can see televisions and we can see space heaters now and the reason why people buy space heaters is because there is no central heating and then we can see a few other things let's see if I have a close-up 
picture I have. We can see here in the background Siemens and Panasonic and these are refrigerators. These are washing machines. This is the store lady and these are extras. They are just supposed to look at these machines. And then we have the food department. There is no fresh food but they sell food in bags. And then here we have some exercise equipment, we have shoes, we have some bags and we have suitcases. And again we have a lady in the food department and she is looking like, what is this? I've never seen this before. But hey, a job is a job. And here we can see all kind of small boxes and tins. And then here we have some more international brands. We have Tissot and Omega here. And here we have Chanel. And this is partly to show foreigners that, hey, we also have this. And for the very few rich that you can buy things here. And it's of course also a message internationally that we don't care about your sanctions. We can get whatever we want anyway. We go back to uh, looking at some of the elite homes. This is where the skyscraper is, which we looked at before. And here we have another gated community. And I'll get you a close up of that. Here is a close up. And if you have this house, then you're pretty well off. You have a nice big garden. You have a little lake here. Here's another lake with a fishing pond. Big house here. And just the fact that it's placed where it is, and I'll show you why, uh, means that you have to be really well connected and high up in the party. Because here we have the mausoleum. I'll show you a front picture of the mausoleum. And here is, a, it's the mausoleum for uh, the two previous leaders. And there is a picture of them on the wall. Thanks for watching. Here is a picture from the North Korean state. Uh, that shows how beautiful the apartments are inside and you can see these people are amazed by the fact that they have a lamp wow there is light and here is a probably model of one of these two that says wow a table and here is the father of one of these two uh, trying the sofa and being impressed with it well, anyway, that was it for this time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.